We do not wish to scare, only to inform that part of the disclosure event may be more local than you were anticipating. You are well aware of looking for ships in the skies, but what of ships within your planet, of world within your own, of NASA dimensions or suppressed abilities? There will be much to digest and take in, and your sauces are well ready. This we see with great pride and wonderment of the amount of tasks, trainings, and injuries that you have concurred. And we say concurred with pride, for we are a high respect of surrounding consciousness of the planet. Our white wings are many, and our love is eternal for you. Do you think that humanity as a whole is ready to be confronted with the truth of these things? At some point, it must happen. Healing must take place. These lab creators who suffer will find mercy in healing. They will have the chance to discuss their predicament. No, we do not use the word predicament, but rather situation. For you must understand that on the other side, there are so many who wish for experiences. And what an intense experience of suffering such a state would have been for those who wished for more experience. Yes, is warranted, but know that much of the unfairness in your world is agreed to on the other side for furthering of experience. This is hard to understand while embodied. Earth has been such a playground for density, for duality, and for deep joys. Know that as these changes continue to develop across the planet, and more and more people were coming awake, all of you. There is no longer possible here as you move beyond that, as if there was a line drawn in the sand, and you have all moved across it. Never go back again. For you are in the process of ascension, moving from one level of consciousness to another level of consciousness. Awakened, each and every one of you awakened to the I Am Presence within each of you. And that I Am Presence is forever there with you, has always been there, and now you are awakening to it. Awakening to the higher level of consciousness that the I Am Presence brings to you and that connection to your higher self. Many of you have been connecting with your higher self and your higher level guides that have been working with you diligently to bring you step by step along the ladder of love and oneness. Love is a force that you cannot escape, like gravity. It is ubiquitous, yet invisible. It exerts an irresistible pull on us, leading us to acts of courage and foolishness beyond our wildest imagining. But unlike gravity, which you cannot do anything about, you cannot easily levitate. For example, love is a force that you use to co-create with the light. When you discover this, you can go about dreaming a new world into being. Here is a force. It's what the flower feels for the morning dew. Here is a rainbow after a rain. Love is the force that can help us elicit the truth amid the lies. And above all, love is the power of the primordial light which is cognizant, intelligent, wise. We can interact with the primordial light, what we call spirit, and it responds to us. That is the contract that has with spirit, you call, and spirit responds to you every single time. Your journeys have been so profoundly deep, these last few years, even a few moments with the energies are furthering your remembering of souls and who you are 
as fractals of light of source within human form. The human is a beautiful form and when returned to the original template of ascended human, of crystalline higher dimensional human. You will be amazed and delighted at your abilities, at the peace that comes with the deep connection with Source, with your true self. The synchronicities will continue to deepen, keep your eyes to the skies, but also all around you, care for your bodies at this time. We are the White Winged Collective, we are many, we surround you with the light today. Your world has been a holographic experience, which does not make it any less real or any less difficult, it simply is this. What is true is what is coming back, the light is the truth, the light is everything, and you are this light. You are this divine light encased within human form, with great tenderness and love, you are so profoundly loved. We are all eternally thankful, grateful for your service to Gaia in these times of tumult. Know that all is well, and all will be well. Know that nothing can stop this wave of light, and you are grounded in this light. You've heard many times to be the one. This is not just a few words, but words that have deep meanings. Be the one. Be the one consciousness, the one understanding, the one light. Be the I am presence, which is the one. Nothing and nothing can stop you now, stop you as the collective, you from gaining more and more momentum, as the dominoes begin to fall, and will continue to fall more and more rapidly across the entire planet. And the catapult or the catalyst of all of this is you, especially those of you in this United States of America and the newer public that is being born again. And you all are a part of that new republic of bringing it forward, bringing it to the next level of consciousness. A level of consciousness that was envisioned by those of your forefathers who envisioned a great state a great country, a great planet. For all, indeed, all are created equal, and all one with the God presence within them. So allow yourselves now, through these times, coming to not fall back, even an inch, to keep moving forward. No matter how many times you might fall, pick yourself back up and keep moving forward again and again and again. And reach out to your fellow neighbors and assist them along the way. When we break the habit of searching for our soulmate, we start to end the dream of unconditional love. The next action we must take is to love who we are and here is how. Be fearless as you look at yourself. You are what you are. Take a deep breath and accept that for better and for worse, you are you. No one else is going to give you this kind of approval without extracting a sky-high price. Embracing all of yourself is the true path to unconditional love for all those around you, your parents, partner, children, friends, extended family, and co-workers. All are imperfect, the same as you. 